Oh, it looks like I really enjoyed my time in Ireland. Um, actually, my wife's Irish. She was uh, she's from from Mayo, so the time I spent at Connacht was very good rugby-wise, but also for our family, and it was um, very good to reconnect with our family in the west of Ireland. So yeah, I've always enjoyed my time in Ireland, and yeah, well remember a few trips up to um, Ravenhill to play Ulster. You know, some great contests back in those days. Oh, look, it's an amazing stadium now. It was looking pretty tired. You know, it had a great tradition, but it was looking quite tired. You know, back in back in the early 2000s. But came here with um, Tonga. We played um, Island Day here in about or oh, 2010, I think it was. Yeah, and it was really looking really good there with the new stand. And, and there's been a lot of work done since then as well. So yeah, it's a top class stadium. Well, certainly. I mean, we're just looking at the facilities here. You know, really, really excellent training facilities here, yeah, and, and and you know all the support staff on the ground have been really good as well. Oh, look, the, you know the Barbarians, you know, great uh, traditional club, and you know it's a very traditional fixture, not not one that you get many opportunities to play against. And I know the the boys are really looking forward to the game on um, on Friday night. You know, they they know some of the players in the opposition, and there'll be some some real challenges there. You know, we're, we're looking forward to the to the. You know the barbarian game, and in, in terms of the, the way the game's played, but it's a very, very important game for us and our and our in, in in part of the November tour, and and certainly we're approaching it very seriously, and you know working on our game plan and, and our combinations, getting our team cohesion this week, and and you know looking you know at a good performance on Friday to, to launch ourselves into the into the week against England. Obviously, I've been in the Southern Hemisphere for the majority of my career, and. Um uh, it's my second stint now over here in Europe, and look, enjoying the, the lifestyle. And you know, ch rugby's changed from the last time I was uh, I played here um, in Europe, and yeah, just really enjoying it. Um, you know, we got, managed to play some champions uh, rugby, or European rugby, and um, yeah, no, it was good. And, um, I guess for me, it's just finding my feet um, at Montpellier, and, and um, you know, hopefully, just continuing to uh, you know string along a few good games for the mm -hmm. team. Look, I think for us as, as, as a whole, we think we, we like I said, we're taking this as a test match. Um, you know, we, we, at the same time, we can't get too caught up with in, you know, the barbarians' flair and how they play. Um, you know, <coughs> as, as John and uh, Q alluded earlier, you know, we just got to worry about our, 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 the way we play and, and if we can get our set piece and, and structures in line, then um, look, you know, we'll be we'll be good. But look, the boys are. Uh, pump for this weekend. It's 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 actually worked well for us. You know we've got a uh, we usually always start with a, a, a big big game. I mean this is a big game, but you know if, uh, for us as well as it's a big game, it's it's something we can uh, get a few combinations together as well. You know I was talking to our liaison officer yesterday, and he was saying there's a few numbers coming out to watch, and um, it'd be good to see some of the um, you know, see the fans come down and and, and watch. It. You always see I always watch on TV when Ulster play here. That's you know, it seems like a, a pretty cool place to play in front of. So um, hopefully, you know, we'll we'll get some some of those guys come down on Friday night.